What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be the full process of safe isolation for single phase installations. We're gonna be running through everything you need, the exact process of how to do it, and just talking about the topic of safe isolation. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And yeah, let's, uh, let's run the intro. So safe isolation. Firstly, before we get into any of it, I want to clarify again that this is the safe isolation procedure for single phase installations. So 240 volts, single phase, most of your domestic installs, that sort of stuff. A full video will be coming out for three phase safe isolation, but it's not covered in this video. Secondly, uh, safe isolation is part of a process to work on electrical installations. It's a necessary evil and something that will save your life I just wanted to stress that you know electricity is serious stuff I love my job I love being an electrician I love creating videos about electrics online and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun too however this shit will kill you electricity is extremely dangerous and that's why this safe isolation video and the process shown within it is um, yeah really really important for anyone who's gonna be working on electrical installations so what are you gonna need to carry out the safe isolation process firstly you're gonna need a lock device, a locking device, locking mechanism, something that you can use to secure the device that you're locking off. This is one for like an MCB, as you can see, quite a simple device, but they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes for different devices, different switches and stuff like that. As you can imagine, that switch behind me is gonna have, um, yeah, quite a different sort of locking mechanism to a, yeah, your traditional sort of MCB. So yeah, you just need to make sure you're selecting the right one for the device that you are gonna be isolating. Secondly, you're gonna need a warning notice or warning tag. So this is basically a card that is gonna go on with the lock-in device and it basically says do not operate it has space for me to put my name my company my details and basically what it does is notifies anyone that comes across my isolation what's happened but also gives them a means to contact me if for instance um, I isolated something that I didn't know I was going to isolate by turning off a circuit I might have turned off the lights in an area or yeah a mag lock or something and someone can come see what's happened and contact me so that I can then you you know make the installation safe again and re-energize or just do whatever so yeah they are really really important next up you're going to need a padlock or a device that you can use as a barrier to secure your isolation to secure your lock off so this is just an insulated padlock quite common um, and yeah i've just got the key on the lanyard so that it can easily be put around my neck and kept on my person which again is really really important Next up, you're gonna need a approved voltage tester. So they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. You wanna stay away from anything that's purely digital. LEDs are really, really nice. You wanna make sure that it's got all of the probes, uh, that you know, the probe tips, and all of the stuff that is required by GS38, because that's just really important. If you don't know what GS38 is, it's the standard for testers that you're gonna be using, the instrumentation that you're gonna be using. I'll attach GS38 below, so if you wanna brush up on that and look into it a bit more, you certainly can. Finally, and arguably the most important item is a proven unit. So this is gonna be used to ensure that your, your voltage indicator is working correctly, both before and after you prove dead. So yeah, this test is great, but it's only as good as, you know, the fact that it's working properly. So um, yeah, it's important to prove before and after, and you're gonna need a proven unit that is rated to at least the voltage you're working on. This one's rated to 240 volts, so it's great for you know this single phase installation. However, it'd be no good for, arguably no good for three phase installations. So it's just something that you should bear in mind. Right, so I've got all of my stuff here now, all of my gear, and now I'm gonna run through the process of safe isolation. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to identify either the circuit the piece of equipment or the installation that you need to isolate this can be done through you know visually tracing it can be done through looking at labeling looking at schematics or also you know in lesser complex situations where it wouldn't affect anyone a bit of functional switching you might flick a breaker off and go oh that light i'm working on you know i want to work on has just turned off so it's that breaker but yeah you want to ad identify exactly what you're turning off and how and then uh, yeah you can then move on with the rest of the process 
Once you know what you want to be turning off, you then want to seek permission to do so. So it's all well and good going, right, that's the board I need to turn off, or that's the circuit, or you know that isolator says it's fed from there, so I know where it's fed from. But before you just go turn it off, you just want to seek permission. So in a house, it might be from the property owner. In a commercial setting, it might be from the building manager. It might be from the people working in that area. You just want to make sure that, you know, one, you've got permission to turn it off. It's not going to affect anyone's work. And two, people or the relevant people are going to be aware that you know the lights are going off the power's going off or whatever so yeah make sure you do that before you get started so now that you know what you want to isolate and you've got permission to do so you've notified the relevant persons you want to make that isolation so whatever switch or device you found to be the point of isolation whatever you determine that to be you'll need to flick it off switch it off turn it off whatever it is and just make sure that that isolation's happened as soon as you've made that isolation you're going to want to secure it immediately this can be done like I said by using the the locking off device and what you're doing there is you've made the isolation you need to go verify that it's you know it's isolated the the part of the circuit that you want, the part of the installation that you've wanted it to so you need to lock that off so that no one could tamper with that on that journey of yeah proving dead now that you've isolated and secured the isolation or partially, you're gonna to wanna to further secure it by putting notices and barriers on the locking off device. So this is where you attach your warning notice and also apply your padlock so that no one can interfere with the isolation that you've made. So you now wanna prove that the isolation has worked. This is gonna be done by taking your approved voltage testers. You're gonna to wanna to first prove them on a proven unit, ensure that these are working correctly. And then you're going to want to test for voltage between live and neutral, live and earth, and neutral and earth. By testing all of these combinations, you're just ensuring that there's no voltage present on the circuit whatsoever. And then once you've done that and you've ascertained that there is no voltage there, you then wanna prove your testers again to ensure that the testers are functioning correctly. So now that you've you know, done that whole process, you should be fairly confident that the installation or the part of it that you've isolated is and you can now safely work on it. Obviously, when it comes to re-energizing, you wanna leave it in a safe manner and just work that process back. You won't need your testers, but you'll certainly need to remove the padlock, notify people, and then re-energize um, to yeah, get the installation back on and working for everyone. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you've learned something. Like I say, there will be a full free phase version coming out as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. As always, guys, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Button. If you're liking content in the workshop, educational stuff like this, all the content I do out on site, you just stay up to date with all the videos I've got coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Oops.